cameras trained on one man. I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space, he can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. The floodlights are beaming down on the players here at the Estadio de la Ceramica. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent. Occasion. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And he takes it away. Well, they're moving it around with real purpose here. And players waiting in the centre. Making sure nothing came of it. Dispossessed by Cannavaro. Cafu. Now with Ronaldinho. Was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Moreno. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, last time out, he scored four goals, and what a brilliant performance it was from him. His movement was good, he was clinical in front of goal, and he was a constant threat. He's in tremendous form. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. And he's broken free. Brilliant save. Alex Baena. Alexander Surlot. Coquelin. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Skulls. Paul goals. Cafu must take the lead here. Oh, a challenge of the highest order. Baena. Really good build-up, but no end product. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Coquelin. Villarreal struggling to keep hold of the ball. Might be a chance here. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, there it is, the referee's whistle. And that closes the book on the first half here in Villarreal. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Moreno. Real chance. And top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. And the keeper not thinking it through. 
And well, we tend to expect production from Ronaldinho, and that's what we got from him in the first half. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. We'd have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. And a chance to whip it in here. Half-hearted clearance. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. And he's in. Must be. Safe pair of hands did his job. making considerable progress with the ball but nothing comes of it good defending it was Ronaldinho and pushed away to safety well that save just about keeps them in this but they have to pose more of a threat at the other end Parejo well, not giving him any breathing room Zidane Zidane and the keeper's hand does the trick referee had to be mindful of what was going on the injury situation and Hence, he has stopped play. So following the injury, back underway again here. And over the byline it goes. So goal kick coming up here. And the keeper dicing with danger. In it goes! And I'll tell you what, the goalkeeper is wishing quite simply he hadn't done that. Well, let's take another look, and it certainly doesn't improve, does it? The less said about that, the better. It's a poor mistake. Roberto Carlos. And it's with Ronaldinho. Cantona. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Now, what's the keeper playing at? Oh, a goal! And a moment the goalkeeper would like to forget all about. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, he doesn't read the danger at all, does he? It's a poor piece of goalkeeping. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. 
And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, oh dear.